Hey, um, Kevin with Emergency Medicine. So, um, we have a new storage device. Here it is. It's a monitor, a cart, and you can see the cart is different than the other carts that we have in the department that have the wire baskets. It's got these um, uh, high impact plastic uh, two baskets, if you will, a rail. The other thing on the back it has are these two uh, holders for a flexible scope that I'm going to talk about at the end. So um, I'll get this device out somewhere around the last week of September or early October and um, I'm going to upfront just tell you the absolute minimum you need to know about this is this device while it does all and more of what the, the other present devices that we have um, the thing that you need to know about it is the type of blades that you use for this are completely different. Well, they're different in that they look different and they connect differently. This is the present blade that we have. It's got a gray handle um, and it's got this uh, uh, slot here that takes in the power module. And y'all all know that. We just say take it, uh, take the power module like so, and you push it in like that, let it seat. All right, this device won't do that. So if you try, if you uh, attempt to roll this device into the room and you want to use it, you're not going to be able to use this blade. Okay, so this and this don't go together. What you need is a blade that looks like that. It's got a black handle, um, and the connection to it is uh, much different. So think of this as like a puzzle, and um, you can see this has got a cylindrical round end that just simply goes into the handle like this. It's self-explanatory. When you get it in, plug it in, this thing will light up. Everything else is the same. I mean, you use the device just the same way that you use the device. The, uh, the, um, the module for the blade plugs in the side. Everything, all the controls, they're essentially the same. So we'll end on the, or we'll end this part of this. If you want to use the new device, you have to use one of the new blades. Um, I think we have either three or four number three blades, and we have uh, three or four number four blades. So the other thing is, these are this type of storage blade is plentiful around the medical center. Anesthesia uses this exclusively, so um, we should be running into shortages for this, like we do with these older versions of this blade. The older devices are fine to use. Uh, they, uh, uh, the the picture is not quite as sharp as it is on here, but they're fine to use. So, this device, you need this handle. How it connects is going to be self-explanatory. There you go. That's kind of it. Um, all right, I'm going to go on to a couple of added features. If you just need to know the down and dirty about it. That kind of summarizes everything. Okay, so if you're here, uh, still here, I'm going to talk to you about a couple of added features of this. Uh, if I didn't mention it earlier, the power button's in the same place. You, plug, you turn it on, you plug it in. It's very self-explanatory. Okay. If you're going to do D, or if you're going to do intubate somebody, all you need is one of the black black uh, blade just with the black handles, and you hook it up. The other thing that this will do, however, is uh, I'm going to set this off to the side. Is Stores now has a disposable three and a half millimeter uh, flexible scope that you can use for bronchoscopy. They're coming out with a shorter nasoscope. You can still use this as a nasoscope. It's just really long. 
uh, it's got um, 180 degrees bi-directional um, ability here and then also as you drive the scope either you can turn it with your hand or turn it here with your fingers whichever way you want to uh, these are about a hundred bucks hundred ten dollars use it one time you throw it away uh, which is extremely nice you can only use it or it, it, you can only use it with uh, uh, this device this roll around so the way this works is, you just go get yourself a scope, we'll keep them in the service center. And if you look on the back of this, it's got this little, what's called an E-module, and it's got an input for it. It's very self-explanatory. You just pull this thing out of the uh, wrapper. You take this, and you just plug it in here. When you plug it in, It'll come up. And you're going to get an image on the screen right there. And um, you're pretty much ready to go, or you are ready to go. Now, if for some reason you don't get an image, this fourth button from the bottom, and it's got a little toggle thing next to it, it allows you to switch from this E module over here. So theoretically, if I wanted to have a blade plugged in for whatever reason, like so, and I wanted to switch between the blade and the scope, all I have to do is hit this little toggle button like that. And it'll switch back over to the blade there. You can see the light source on top looking at a camera there. But yeah, it just goes, that little toggle button goes from here back to the scope. Okay, um, the, uh, the cart's got a deal here where you can set the scope, um, put the scope through it. There's a little plastic disposable carrier that I'm gonna have mounted on here for you. But that's what these two things are here for. for. Again, this is single use, it's disposable. Um, I'll when we get these in, I uh, hope to have them in uh, in the next like three weeks, so that's around mid-October 2020. They're going to be in the, in the service center. You just go in there and ask for a disposable, flexible source scope, and there it is. Uh, I can't think of any other real troubleshooting you'll need to do with it, other than make sure it's plugged in, it's powered on. And if you don't have an image, just hit the toggle button, give it a second, and it ought to come right up. That's it. Great. A couple things you need to know about the blades. They're going to come in this, this steering wrapper, just like the, uh, um, the present blades that we have. You open it up, you take it out. So these blades, all these new ones, have got this orange tape on them. Um, which means that um, they belong to the ER. The other thing is, I don't know if you can pick up, there's this little itty bitty QR code that's on this blade right here. And I've, I've, I've got it right here at my index finger. And um, it's, uh, what's the name of it? Centra, Centrastat, I have to read it off the label. Centrastat, uh, it's how the simple sterile people track stuff. So, um, if anybody scans that, it'll tell, tell them who the blade belongs to, et cetera, et cetera. Here's the good news about these blades. There's 100 or 200 of these inside the facility. Versus, we've had a problem with, quite honestly, central steroid losing these blades. Uh, these things are 3500 $3, to $4,000 a piece. And, you know, it's, we don't need to break them or lose them or anything like that. So, just a couple things just to remember. The, the, the sending them to central sterile to get them sterilized is exactly the same. They come back exactly the same. They just look and look and act and behave differently in the way that you hook them up. And, and also in the way that they're marked. And I wanted to, to brand how they're marked and how they're tracked. 
and just kind of add this right here. Uh, again, we're going to have uh, three or four number three uh, curved blades in house, and then we're going to have three or four uh, number four curved blades um, in the department. So we shouldn't we shouldn't run out of these, um, and um, unless we just like use them all a lot, but. Uh, but anyway, and there's nothing wrong with these. These work just fine. It's just uh, uh, this generation device is a little bit newer and nicer than the old one. Thanks.